All right, so I went ahead and got the bunking passenger peg slash crash bar for the rear. And then um, do a quick little video installing it, as well as I'm gonna put some ARP bolts instead of the one supplied. Um, I might need one size bigger than this, but I'm not 100% sure if I do, they're actually coming tomorrow anyway, so we'll see. I need to get this little plug out, as well as take off this bolt down here. This one down here, it's a Torx and it's a T45. And then this little plug, I'll just grab a flathead and just uh, pry this little edge up. I already did it head off camera. And then from there, you can just twist it off. And I'm leaving this bracket, the bag on right now. We'll see if I want to take it off, but I think it might make it easier lining this up. Bunch of thread locker on that. Yeah, so see, look. We're just gonna leave that on. We have these threads behind there. Just leave it on. And then, I'm gonna go ahead and take this side, and we're gonna slip it behind this. So, that's fine. If this wants to come off, it can come off. It's fine. Go ahead and slip this in here. And then what I'll go ahead and do is take one of the bunking bolts. I'm only gonna put this in here just as a little placeholder. Okay, placeholder for the bottom. And then this the bracket. Let's see, here, let's put this in a little bit more. I'm gonna say this is gonna go on, yeah, over the top, okay. So, go ahead and put that in there. Put that like that. And boom. That's how that's gonna go. Um, something else as well, in the bunking kit, there is two, two different size screws. I'm a mat, I'm, again, there's no directions. I'm gonna say these longer ones are gonna be what's, what goes through this bracket. And the shorter ones are for the top. Why they included six total? Probably if you have a Lowrider S you probably only use the small, all four small ones. And then this one, obviously, if you have the bag brackets, then you'll use the longer ones. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is longer one with the washer. I'm not gonna put any thread locker on it yet. I'll do that once it's on, just to make sure everything is all good. All right, so as you guys just saw, this side is just on, just loose, but it's on there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead now and swap these bolts out for the ARP hardware that I bought. Um, slowly, I'm gonna be doing all the ARP hardware on this bike. Like, as you can see, I've already done these three and little other random ones. Um, I do need to get a longer, longer bolts for the bottom ones, but at least for now, I'll throw the top ones in and tomorrow the next day when the longer ones come in, quarter inch longer, um, I'll throw this in the bottom, but not a big deal. So I'm gonna at least get this top one taken out. This is the bolt and washer that came with the bunking. <clears throat> and then here is the ARP that I'm gonna be putting on. I'm also gonna be putting blue Loctite just on a few of the threads. Nothing crazy. Okay, that 
chest on there. Let's get it a little snug. And I will go ahead and do Now again, you have a little bit of wiggle room. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust them about like that is where I'm gonna tighten it. So let's see, I work it right there. So the bag can also move in and out a little bit. Let's get that. That's where we're gonna put that. So let's get this all tightened up. Okay, that's good. Now the bottom one I'll pull off, lock tight it. This side will be done until I swap that bolt out. The other side is already done. Now I'm moving on to this side. This side, I'm probably gonna be able to get halfway done tonight. The other half will probably have to be done tomorrow. And just because since I'm doing ARP bolts, like the other side I could just pull in and out easy. But this one might be difficult once it's out to put in because I don't have it right now. So I'm just gonna get probably, probably pull the, the two mufflers off I'd like to just leave them on. This exhaust is gonna get changed pretty soon anyway, so I'm just adding work, but whatever, it's fine. Pull these off, I'm gonna get the bracket put in place, just snug, and then tomorrow, once the longer ARP bolts come in, then I could just throw those into these two, but at least I'll get a little bit done tonight. This side, unlike the other side, I gotta pull this off, so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get a... Uh, I wonder if I can keep these shields on or just take them off. Let's see. We got two bolts here to hold this muffler to the top of the bracket. And two bolts here that hold that to there. Let's just pull this off, make it easy on myself. So now that I'm looking at it, um, I might not have to touch the top one. Just the bottom one. I did these two and then that. Okay. That's off there. Now I have access to this bolt easier. And I don't gotta come in at a weird angle. So, the next two that I'm gonna loosen up are gonna be these two right here. Some people um, loosen these top two up. I'm gonna wait. Once I get these off, then we'll see. If it's still really tight, then we'll loosen those up. But, I'm gonna try this for now. You know something else I'm thinking about too? the two longer bolts that came with this kit might be for here. Now that I'm thinking about it. So the one that I put on the bottom side on the other might not go there, but I don't know. I don't know. I wish, they could, I wish it had some sort of instructions, but whatever. We're just going to run with it. For me, again, it doesn't matter. And for my case, because I'm replacing the bolts with ARP. Um, but, I don't know. I know this little, um, this little spacer they give you goes behind this one because the mount mounts to these two. So I know that goes there, which would make sense why this one would be longer as well as this one. I don't know. I do not know. Okay, so those two are out. Let's see if this bracket moves. No, it's still, it's, it's pretty tight. So you're gonna wanna loosen up uh, probably the four header bolts. I actually 
didn't have to loosen the front ones. I just loosened the back two just enough to where there's like a little half inch of movement just by the back. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is slip this in. Slips in like that, and what I'm gonna do, and then also the spacer will then go on the bottom now. Since I'm gonna be swapping these two out, well, all three out with the ARP, I'm gonna go ahead and just the stock ones I pulled out of there, just set them in there for now because I'm gonna be swapping this tomorrow. You're not gonna wanna do this, but that's what I'm gonna do just for the meantime. Obviously you would use, the way, it's, the way it looks is you would use both longer bolts here. Even though I put one on that side, I'd put them both here. I don't know why they don't include three, but they're definitely gonna go there. And then the last one, is actually behind here, so this one might be a little difficult. Um, let me grab that. And this is the ARP that I'm going to be using, which again, you're not going to see it right now because the stock exhaust is on, but whatever, I don't care. I'll have to figure out how I'm going to tighten this though. Probably have to get a, um, a wrench in there but it's fine i still gotta wait tomorrow anyways okay so that's just just on there loose these are both on here loose and then i'll go ahead and i'll this center nut i'll make sure that's all all good but and that's basically it kind of an idea tomorrow when I come back out I'll show you guys uh me finish buttoning it up but actually I'll put this down and I'll show you so so that ball's gonna be a little tricky to get to even if you were already using you were to be using um the bolt bunking provides I still feel like it'd be pretty difficult without with having the exhaust on um, I'm sure you could probably get some super short Allens in there that'd work. But what I'm thinking is a 12 point wrench from here, make it easier, which would actually be easier than the, the Allen, but keep that on next, keep that on and yeah, I'll come back tomorrow when I get all the new, uh, longer ARP hardware. It's been a few days since I last filmed, but I finally got the ARP hardware in. So there's that there. There's that one there. And I did end up using a ratcheting uh, wrench. I was able to get in there. Super easy. So if you're going to go ARP, that makes it easy. Or if you don't have the stock two to one, you're set as well. But got that all done. As well as, I got that one in as well. So, yeah, that is, uh, that is it for now. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one.